Let's take a look at the groove for Kanye West's Gold Digger. It's a really funky pattern and will give your bass drum foot a really good workout. And it sounds something like this. To start off with I'm going to show you how to play the groove as it appears on the recording and after that we're going to spice things up a little bit with some variations. We're going to learn how to play this groove using a method called chunking which means we're going to divide it up into four parts, we're going to divide it up into its four constituent beats and learn each section on its own so that you're learning how to play four simple patterns instead of trying to put one slightly more complex whole together and uh, actually you only have to learn three parts because the one, the first beat, and the, the three, the third beat, are the same thing. So let's start with the first uh, beat, which is one anna, okay? So we're going to play eighth notes on the one and the and with the hi-hat. And then with the bass drum, we're going to play an eighth and two sixteenths. So when we put that together, we've got the hi-hat and bass on the one, then the hi-hat and the bass again on the and, and then the ah uh is bass on its own, like this. One and ah. Uh. Okay, that's your one and three. On the second beat, the hi-hat is still playing eighth notes. We've got the snare on the two, and then we have the bass on the E and R. So it's like this. Two E and R. On the third beat, we play the same as the first beat. An eighth and two sixteenths. Three Anna, and then finally the fourth beat is just four and. Pretty straightforward. Now, once you've ascertained that you can play each one of those beats separately, uh, it's time to put it together. And what I recommend we do is we just play the first uh, two patterns, so the one and then the two. And if that works reasonably well, um, we're going to then add the three. If that works reasonably well, we're going to add the fourth beat, and that should give you the pattern, right? Don't worry if when you're first learning something like this, it takes you a little while to stick the various individual bits together. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try it and just do the one and a two e and a. Okay, and you can just take a little pause there and appreciate uh, if you've successfully played it or not. If not, doesn't matter. Play another 10 million times and it'll come. Okay, if that's working for you, you can then uh, you can then add the three Anna. Again, the same as the one Anna. Little pause. Let it sink into the head. Okay, we're nearly there. All we need to add now is should be pretty straightforward. And there you go, you've got the whole groove. Now let's just repeat that a bunch of times, but you can take a little pause at the end of each bar. Again, let it sink in nicely. There you go. Now, once you know that you can get that running consecutively, 
it's time to, to loop it. So we're not going to take a pause at the end of the bar, we're going to keep playing continuously. and so on and so on. And keep doing that until you find yourself comfortable enough to be able to play along at the speed of the song, so you can play along to the track. Now, just uh, having got the hang of that, I recommend that you stick the recording on and play along to it once, twice, seven times, uh, however many times you feel like doing it. It's all good stuff just to sit and settle um, with a recording like that. Uh, I think the groove pretty much just loops uh, from the beginning to the end and it's a great exercise in keeping a nice steady groove with a steady feel not speeding up or slowing down now you've got comfortable with the groove it's time to add a couple of variations starting with a snare ghost note on the e of three on the three e and it's going to be like this in context we get this And you can do the same on the E of one. Okay, so a couple of straightforward snare drum strokes you can add. Next we're going to play another snare ghost note on the R of two, which means it's going to coincide with the existing bass drum stroke. So you get the challenge of playing a nice soft fluffy <laughs> ghost note plus the bass drum note at the same time and you don't want the bass drum to go soft and you don't want the snare to be too loud so there's a good challenge there it goes like this so putting it together we get a kind of boogaloo thing if we play the ghost note on the r of the two and the e of the three something like this Finally, let's add a couple of bass drum variations. The first one is based on the R of four, and it would be like this. Four and R. In context, we get this. Last but not least, let's take the bass drum from the R of four and put it instead on the E of one. So we get this. Once you've got the hang of the groove and the variations, practice mixing them up in different ways. And the idea being that you just learn how to improvise and, and add a little bit of texture bring things in and take them out again. Something like this. And that's that. I hope you've enjoyed learning this groove and got the hang of the variations and are playing them all along to the track. Uh, meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this and want to hear some more and be updated on whatever next things I release. Um, and obviously leave comments in the comments section and let me know what you thought and if you've got any suggestions for things you'd like to learn in the future that I might be able to make a video about. Uh, meanwhile, I think it's time for you to go off and practice.